Hey guys, Tom here from To The Moon Creative Studios. So I'm here tonight hosting a little bit of content, gonna be interviewing some friends of Dave. So all the Nashville fans get to kind of get a glimpse into some of his personal friends and family. Uh, and you know, his him and his wife have this amazing relationship. So everyone's here to celebrate that. We're gonna get them all to do an impression of Dave's signature laugh. So I'm gonna do mine real quick. You know, when Dave's like, <laughs> Kind of like that, and uh, it's gonna be a great night. Hey man, so what's your name and how do you know Dave and Chris? Uh, my name is Orlando and I know Dave and Chris around because of my wife. She is everybody's friend and they are very good friend Christy. Okay. And that's how I met Dave. And uh, you know, we just met it in the neighborhood. They've got 10 years in uh -huh. to this wonderful union that they have, right? Uh -huh. So under or over, because he's a betting man, how many more years you give it? Oh, sure. I hold that forever. Oh, absolutely. Have you ever heard Dave's signature laugh? Yes. So what we're doing tonight is we want to oh, get we want to get the best impression of Dave's laugh that you can give. I'm Let's see what you got. <laughs> What's up, Nashville? So I'm here with uh, Mackenzie and Shad Beebe. Tell me, how long have you known Dave and Chris, and what do you think their secret to success in their marriage has been? I would say their secret to success is just uh, keeping things light, keeping things a little bit more comical, uh, being able to laugh um, things off and not take things too seriously. That's what I would I would say. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we're in agreement on that part. Yeah. Right, so yeah. what would, what is the funniest thing you've seen happen between when you've been around them? that you know might be like sitcom worthy like almost like oh gosh that could totally i could totally see that being like a tv show moment i mean i would have to say yeah. we were putting on a an event for young kids for a young youth for a football program and i mean they had brought their oldest london out and it was just the three of them and chrissy and her daughter are literally running around the track and all of a sudden you see Gray take off and he's running around the track. And I'm like, Gray, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he was like, well, I'm just I'm just making sure that they're good. They're good, but I, I, gotta, I gotta get back here. And I think yeah. it's like always just like, they're kids too. Like they just, everything <laughs> yeah. about them is just yeah. like youthful and fun and yeah. Yeah, lighthearted. I'm sure you're familiar enough at this point with Dave's signature laugh. Like, you know it when you hear it. So we're asking everyone, and maybe you, Chad, then oh, you, Kenzie, man. can do the laugh that Dave does. Oh, your God. best impression. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, but, but you'd have to get more like animated with it. I do, yeah. It's like a <laughs> <laughs> whole body's in Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's very yeah, I get it. Guys, I'm here with Gina Rajiri and uh, tell us, how do you know Dave and Chris? I was Christy's boss <laughs> at work and then we just became friends and now I'm like part of their family. Okay. So yeah. Dave and Chris, ten years together, what do you think their secret is? I think their secret is that Dave knows that Christy is the boss. Okay. Everyone who knows Dave has heard his, what we call in, in the podcast, uh, his signature laugh. Yes, I was just on the podcast. Um, yes. A so, few days if, ago. so we're asking everyone, what is your best impression of Dave's laugh? Oh, man. Like your absolute best. <laughs> Right, nailed it. Dave and Christy, you're like my second family. I've been so fortunate to get to know you and your children and the rest of your family. And I wish you the next 10, 20, 30 years of all of the happiness. Love you guys so much. What's your name and how do you know Dave and Chris? Will is my name. Everyone knows me as Mr. Nasty. Mr. Nasty, okay. And how I know Dave and Chris is Dave was my first and still probably my only friend that I've ever had uh, here in Tennessee since I moved here from Texas. So 10 years together, Dave Ten years. and Chris, what has been their secret in your opinion? Yes, yes, thank you, <laughs> thank you. So, what, so we've had the opportunity to see this family and this couple in action for a long time. 
and what is their secret sauce. The secret sauce is Dave loves Chris more than life itself. So you've known what? Dave a long time. Yeah. And you guys are close. Obviously, you've been on the podcast together. So everyone who knows Dave knows his signature laugh. I mean, you know it when you hear it. There's no question. So I'm going to invite you to do either a Dave impression or a Dave la and include a laugh if you could. But I want to hear your absolute best Dave impression slash yeah, laugh. Yeah, man. It's tough because... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. You know? <laughs> Let's go. So um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm Will. Hey, just, Will. Just, just one of day, just one of Dave's uh, mildly insignificant friends. And um, I prepared some words on this momentous occasion, guys, that we're all fortunate to be here to celebrate today. Whoa, whoa, man, whoa, whoa, focus, focus, guys, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, what is it, is this some Italian thing I don't know about here, what's going on here? all right, all right, I got a few remarks. As we gather here to celebrate a milestone in Dave and Chris's journey together, I can't help but feel a mix of awe and a slight worry uh, about how many jokes I'm going to be the butt of <laughs> by the end of the evening. But that's the thing about Dave. Uh, life with him is an endless comedy show. We're here to celebrate the day he found his perfect audience. Yeah. Oh. All right. All right. Wow. All right. His spouse, Chris, who I love and adore, especially because she loves and adores me. <laughs> now, I remember the day Dave told me about Chris because I knew Dave long before I knew Chris, you know, maybe by a few weeks. I love Chris because she laughs at all my jokes, even the bad ones. And I thought, wow, that's not a partner, that's a miracle worker. <laughs> but jokes aside, seeing the, two to you, seeing the two to you together is like watching a classic rom-com live. <laughs> Full of laughter, love, and the occasional pie in the face. <laughs> You've always been the entertainer of the life of the party. But with Chris, you found not just a partner in crime, but a script writer for the beautiful story of your life. Your marriage is like a well-scripted play where even the improvised lines are perfect. Wow. To Chris, thank you for laughing at all the jokes. Even when we all know you've heard them a hundred times. <laughs> your patience is commendable and your ability to find humor in his antics is a superpower. You've managed to turn his solo act into, into a dynamic duo that captivates everyone around you. And as we raise our glasses today, let's toast to a couple that reminds us that laughter truly is the best part of love. To Dave and Chris, may your life continue to be a comedy, but one filled with more love, joy, 
and happiness than any stand-up special could ever offer. I love you guys. We love and, you. And happy yeah. anniversary. Wow, man, that was big. I love you too, man. That was the best. Nice. I love you too. Thank you. Now, before before we rip this off, kick this off, I'm just gonna say this is a one-handed trick. So I'm gonna try to do this trick one-handed. Okay. All right. So I got I got the cards, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through them. So we we got disclaimers, right? <laughs> if you embarrass me, I'll body slam you. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, you can. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's a magic trick. And not, like, <laughs> <laughs> like he ends up naked oh, or something. Yeah, 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 like he you know. doesn't know about it. <laughs> so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do one of these. And, and it's one handed. So this is a high degree of difficulty because I'm leaving one hand in the pocket at all times. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go like this through the cards. And you just say stop. You just say stop whenever, whenever I'm going through the cards like so. Stop. You just say stop and then take a peek at take a peek at the card. You have it. Can I look? You got to it. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got right, it. So you guys got it. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna hand the deck to you. Okay. All right. So so like so take them in your hand. So so like take them in your hand, and then. Like I said, it was going to be a, a one-handed trick. So scroll through the cards, like look and see. You remember what card you saw? Yes, you have to do scroll one-handed. Look through. No, you can you can look through them. Just look through them, and see if your card's in the deck. Do you still see it in the deck? <laughs> is it? Is it in there? Is it in there? It's not in there. All right, all right. It is in there. I saw it. Is it in there? Go back, go back. Go back. Hold on, turn this way. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, guys, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Audience, what was this card? I can't see that. I have a heart. I have a heart. That was the card. That was the card. I don't know what the hell he saw. It was a five of hearts. How in the world? But Dave saw it in the deck. I thought I saw it in the deck. It was a five of hearts. But then he looked through the deck again and it was gone. All right, guys, so you can buy this man, Dave. That was good. That was good. All right, guys. All right, first off, I would like to thank everyone for coming out today. Um, obviously, without you guys, there would be no... Me and Chris, everyone has made an impact in our life in some way, shape, or form um, currently and have made impacts from when we first met. Um, so, like, I would like to say, like, Manja obviously eat more, and the Italian culture is very much family-oriented. Um, with us, we consider you guys all part of our family. This is just a big family for us, um, and I'm happy to have every single one of you guys in our lives. I'm getting tears, so I don't know if it's... Drinking or whatever. Um, obviously, Chris, I, uh, she's been with me from from day one. Before, before like I had anything, whatever in the world, she she was there for me, and and um, I love her to death. She's she's my el numero uno or whatever. Um, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to go after like a will speech. Really it is. And. Um, but the biggest thing I can say to everyone, and again, um, we are so grateful to have each and every one of you guys in, in our lives, and um, this is a big deal for us, and obviously, we selected you guys to be a part of this moment with us, and uh, I just want to say thank you for both of us, um, and we love you, okay? So thank you so much. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs>